Hey, what's up, Joan? How you doing? I love you, man. I just want to tell you. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Actually, uh, you're with me till the day I die because I got you tattooed on my leg. Oh, yeah? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank but, you. I uh, just want to say I'm a big fan, and I've been listening to you ever since I was a kid, and you're awesome. But Thank my you. question for you was um, recently um, you've been in the tabloids connected to Carbon Electra, and I was wondering how do you deal with that sort of media coverage? I think, you know, it's you have to just kind of have fun with it because you can't really control it, you know, and, and you just kind of – so I don't really – I don't tend to respond to things, whether they're uh, – you know, I don't t respond to rumors whether they're true or whether they're not true. I just kind of let it go and try to have fun with it and not take it too seriously because you can't control it, you know. Absolutely. Uh, things do, do get made up, and there are grains of truth here and there sometimes. So, you know, it's just – Live your life, and thankfully, that's not really my world most of the time. You know, that's the, those uh, magazines don't tend to follow me around. So for the most part, you know, I'm just in my rock and roll bubble. Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, John. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you very much. Hey, John, my name's Steve. I'm a huge Runaways fan still, and I'm just wondering how the Runaways movie is coming along, and what's the ultimate message you'd like it to tell? Well, the, the movie's coming along just fine. It's, uh, you know, uh, I believe that they're starting to cast it now, and final touch is being made, I believe, on the script, so it's moving along. I can't really tell you on a release date, because I don't want to, I don't know, so, uh, but I would think next time, next year sometime, and, um, the ultimate message, I mean, since the movie isn't technically a, this is how we began and this is how we, this is what happened to us and this is how it ended, it's more like a snapshot of a point in time during, during the runaway. So I just wanted to um, really just sort of translate what was going on at the time and, and really uh, be real and to uh, capture that teenage naivety that I was speaking about before in, in the best way, in the most beautiful way but um, uh, and to, probably to, to go for your dreams you know because to me that's part, partly what the runaways are about you know, was, was, you know going for your dreams so many people told me not to girls can't play rock and roll you know that whole, that whole thing that didn't make any sense to me so. so we're looking forward to it and good luck with it thank good, you thank you very much Hey, Joan. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Uh, I just wanted to say that outfit right there looks pretty hot. How do you keep it so cool? What, what do you mean? What do you mean? Well, I just, well I just, you know, I, I've never worn leather and um, whatever. Oh, well, usually if we kept going. If we played more than five songs in a row, I was starting to get very, very sweaty. Latex will definitely... Make you sweat. And that's part of the reason I wear it, because I, I like to sweat when I'm on stage. I, I feel more comfortable if I'm, you know, growing up in the clubs, you know. I, I don't feel like I've done my job unless my hair is soaking wet, my makeup is running down my face. And, yeah, you know, that's, so really hot. that's really awesome. <laughs> Woo! That's awesome. Thank you. <clears throat> well, the people, okay. Yeah, the people who made the latex are here somewhere, so they'll be happy to see, hear that. <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I'm going to ask you this question. <laughs> Oh, you mean that wasn't the question? No. That's... Oh, okay. So you oh, got two then. Yeah, I got two questions. Okay. <laughs> okay. So in 2006, you know, you did the Summer Warp Tour? Right. Okay. So I got to ask you, punk rock, dead, or alive and well? Both. <laughs> I guess it depends on where you look. You know, I mean, I, my experience with the Warp Tour was great. You know, I knew it was going to be fun, but I had really had a blast. And the, the bands I met were all so talented and really great songs, very catchy. Even if you saw a band that wasn't necessarily your thing, you know, they were still very talented. And so I really liked being exposed to such a variety of, of people. And it, 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 re, it reaffirmed for me that, yeah, there was still some punk rock out there. The real deal, because I think too many times now we see, you know, the pose. People have the clothes, they have, you know, the tattoos, they have the hair, but the attitude isn't there. And to me, it's much more about the attitude than the way you look. 
you know. It, re- it really is. So, right on. I mean, right on. I told her, I'm with you. I'm with you, girl. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks. Yahoo! <laughs>